Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Shearwater Petrol 2 dive computer. So this comes in two different versions. You've got the EXT version, uh, which means you've got a uh, Fisher connector. That means it can sort of integrate into your rebreather or the standalone version, just the Petrol 2. So these are great technical dive computers. They're fine for recreation as well. But if you want to get a bit more technical, start mixing gases, using closed circuit rebreathers, these really are a very popular dive computer. They've got full color screen. You can customize sort of everything that you need to and a very, very easy user interface. So let's take a closer look. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look and see what you actually get when you buy the dive computer. So this is the, uh, the standalone version. I'm going to show you what comes in this. Um, there's a little difference when you get the EXT version, but, um, but yeah, let's just look at this first. So first of all, it comes in a nice, neat, compact little um, sort of semi-rigid case. So this is going to protect your dive computer. Um, it's an actual practical box that you can use um, sort of after you've received it. Zipper open in, open it up, and you've got two sections. You've got the main section, and then you've got a little zippered section at the top. So the zippered section at the top has a little quality checklist so that you know that someone's physically sort of gone over the dive computer, they've made sure that everything's worked. Um, so that's a nice uh, little touch that sheer water give you. There's uh, a little bag full of accessories. So you've got a, a little carabiner that can clip onto the D-ring on the little box so that you can keep it secure so it doesn't move around. You have a Bluetooth dongle. So these dive computers, they have Bluetooth built into them, but to, uh, to download your dives onto your desktop computer, you can plug in that little USB dongle and then you can uh, sort of wirelessly transfer your dives from your dive computer to your desktop. Couple spare O-rings, because this is a user-changeable battery, it just uses a single AA battery. Uh, you can change the battery yourself. Um, it's got a pair of O-rings, so you get a spare pair of O-rings. So if they, uh, they ever we uh, sort of wear out, or you're a little bit worried about one of them, just swap it out, keep it nice and safe. And you get a, uh, a tool as well to make it easier to, uh, to undo that battery compartment. You also have some product information uh, in this kind of manual. So, uh, so read through that and make sure you understand your dive computer before you use it. The dive computer itself held in position by a little elasticated strap, bit of protective um, sort of foam on top of it. There's your dive computer, just gonna put that to one side and uh, you get a pair of stickers down in the bottom of the box. Okay, so the dive computer itself, if I just peel this protective film off, um, it's a, uh, it's a good chunky dive computer, very tough and very rugged. That's how it was designed. This is waterproof down beyond 200 meters. Um, so very, very tough and, uh, and rugged. So here is your battery uh, compartment. So just undo that with the tool, uh, give it a few turns and there's a AA battery inside of that. You can get AA batteries wherever you are in the world. So very quick and easy to swap that battery out. You have piezoelectric switches or buttons, I should say, on either side. This is your user interface. So these aren't mechanical in any way. So there's no O-rings, there's no mechanical movements to, uh, to use them. Um, so you can use them with big chunky gloves. You can cover the entire computer with like a protective sleeve uh, and those buttons are still going to work um, and you never have to worry about it flooding. On the underside, you have these elasticated straps. So um, they're held in position by this uh, sort of bit of Velcro. I'm just gonna put that away to one side. And then you have these elasticated straps. So you've got the pinch clip adjustments. These are elasticated, so they're gonna allow uh, sort of compression of your dry suit or your wetsuit. So as it goes down, it's gonna hold the computer in position. Um, even if you're wearing it against uh, bare skin, they're nice, soft, they're comfortable. Uh, and you've got a pair of them, so you've got a bit of redundancy there as well. Okay, looking at the uh, the dive computer itself. Um, so first of all, switching it on, just push both buttons, very quick and easy. As you can see, it has a full color screen. Uh, you can customize the colors, you can move uh, kind of the information around, but um, very intuitive user interface. And that's what Shearwater were really focusing on when they were making these dive computers. They wanted it to be simple, easy to use and powerful. Um, so at different 
points of the dive. Your menu structure will be slightly different, so it's going to preempt what you will need, and, uh, and that way you're not navigating confusing uh, menus, just trying to find a single setting that you need to change. Uh, when you're in a stressful situation, it's really quick and easy, and it adjusts um, just as quick. Uh, so there are really good uh, videos on uh, on Shearwater's YouTube page on how to navigate the menus and uh, how to change settings. So I'm not going to go into great detail, um, but very quick and easy to uh, to navigate. You've got your uh, sort of menu cycle through button on the uh, left hand side, and then the select on the right hand side. So um, if I just show you a uh, a previous dive. So on your dive log, they all go through a single test dive just to make sure that they're working properly. Display, so that's your dive. I'm gonna view that and you can see this graph of, it, um, of the test dive. So, um, so very easy to read. You've got that color screen. You can adjust the brightness, so very easy to read. Uh, no matter the angle that uh, you're trying to read it at, it's very easy to read and um, very intuitive. Down at the bottom corners, this is what this button's gonna do and this is what that button is going to do. So very quick to, uh, to navigate around and to understand exactly which button to press and how to navigate around the dive computer. So um, if I just go back to the screen, or the main screen I should say. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, so I'm just gonna switch this off. <clears throat> and then switch to the EXT version. So the EXT version has a Fisher adapter on the side so you can integrate your, uh, your rebreather. Other than that, much the same dive computer on the inside uh, and on the outside. The only additional thing that you get inside of the box is a bit of mineral oil for that Fisher connector. Uh, just in that little uh, sort of ampule there. Other than that, very much the same dive computer, all the same settings, all the same layout. Uh, you just have that additional setting of that uh, sort of fissure so that can integrate your, uh, your rebreather. So great technical dive computer. Uh, that color screen makes it really easy to see and uh, fully customizable, makes it a fantastic dive computer. So that was a quick look at the Shearwater Petrol 2 dive computer. These are all available at our website, simplyscuba.com. Thanks for watching and safe diving.